What is up, people? I am playing this game right now with a blanket over my head and over the switch and over my iPad as it's recording. Who needs a motion capture? No, that's not the right one, is it? Really? Anyway, a capture device, a video capture device, when you can just put a blanket over your head. That's what I say. All right, so I played it a bit to get the feel for it and to try to find the best way to record so you can hear everything and maybe this will be it. I decided not to put up the other two videos because they kind of suck. So I can't say this is my first time ever playing it, sorry. Uh, Josh <coughs> from Limited Run Games sent me this uh, to kind of review and do some, some gameplay of, and so that's what I'm doing. Thank you very much, Josh, I appreciate it. And uh, so we'll go to No Data, slot two. Tracking. Episode one, Dream of Destiny, written by BK Moore. Here we go. See my blanket, it's my blanket. But it really makes it look a lot better once you actually get into the game, so. Find out after these messages from our sponsors. Gotta make sure I don't get any blanket in the picture. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Samantha, the one you love will soon be mine. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You're wrong. You're a bad guy, and bad guys never win. Ooh-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> Your hopeless confidence and optimism amuses me. But enough talk! How about you? <laughs> oh! Stop it! I had it all perfect before. Now it's being a pain in the painful place. Okay, attack. Oh, that was bogus. That was good. That's the best you've got. So when they uh, when they attack, like I said, I played it for like a half an hour before. You're supposed to push the A button at the right time, like just before, to sort of parry, you know. Um, I guess that's the right word. <laughs> uh, and anyway, they don't do as much damage. I basically just start mashing the A button right when I know they're going to attack, and that seems to do the job well enough. Dude, that was so not cool. Ah, oh, the wizard. My grandmother took me to see the wizard in the theater. Begrudgingly, she did not want to go, but I wanted to see it. So she got a little video game education. She learned about Super Mario Brothers 3. Don't think that movie really holds up now, but Super Mario Brothers 3, seeing that in the movie was magical. This game is funny, and it's fun, and it's uh, kind of addictive. Like, I've, I lost track of time when I was playing it before. I just did not think I'd been playing it for half an hour, you know, felt like 10 minutes or something. So... You don't have to believe me. See for yourself. Hey guys, did you hear what this jerk has to say about your mothers? What? My mother was a saint. Hold on a minute. I didn't say anything. Oh man. I'm gonna die. It's true, we're all gonna die. All right. Oh, scratching. So on the, in handheld mode, you can totally scratch the screen and use, the, you know, the stuff on the switch, for example. I'll show you, let's see here. What am I trying to do? No ordinary notebook. Okay. Pushing that. And let's try that one. See? Okay, so you can do it anyway, but I'm going to use the buttons because I like buttons. I'm not sure how you use the touch screen to defend. I don't know if that it's possible to just use the touch screen entirely. I guess I can try that too. Hold on. Oh, like it. Get out of the picture. Focus. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on too many things at once. This blanket is just causing me irritation. Stay in one place. Okay. I need a blacker blanket.
scratching. I've unlocked the full range of your abilities. Now you're playing with power. Okay, powers can boost the effect of your attacks. And that uses your magic power. Okay, battery. Ah. I wonder when it comes up and says A to defend, if it's just reminding you that, or if you can actually push that little button that shows up on the screen. I would like to begin by setting you on fire. Okay, I'm gonna get my finger ready to see if that pops up again, but first let's try to paralyze this dude. Oh yeah, okay, so it seems like the whole game maybe can be played with a touch screen. I'll try that in a minute. You know, for like movement. Okay, touch screening it. Continue. Marty, that was radical. Told ya, but don't get cocky, kid. You still have to travel to the far side of Gaia if you want to rescue Samantha. That won't be easy. Commander Hood's goon, Skelebor? Skelebor and Madeline are waiting. Oh, I'm moving the thing. Sorry. Ah. Uh, it's never perfect. It's never perfect. Why is it never perfect? Because in this life, that's how things are. That's how we roll. Lack of perfection is the something. Okay, I'm going to stop this video soon, but I do want to see, because I'm losing all concentration, uh, I'm going to want to see if I can play the whole game with just touch controls. So I have to be more gentle when I touch it. I love its power. It's so bad. Ugh, my blankie. All right, now if I want to move. Yeah, dude. So I don't know why you would want to do this, but it seems that if you want to play the entire game without buttons, let's say your Joy-Con batteries are dead or something. I don't know, or they break or you lose them in the subway. You can just play with a touch screen. So there's that. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what's for sale in the vending machine. Pizza? Cookie? I don't know what that is. Cereal? Really don't know what that is. That kind of looks like a tape player. I need a cookie. Give me a cookie. Ah, insufficient funds. Figures. It's getting hot under this blanket. All right, that's just a little taste of the game. I'll walk around a little bit more. There's a cave over here. You can go in there and talk to a dude. Over here, there's some guys to fight. We don't want to do that. I'll, I'll show you the cave real quick. A, he's got a couple CRTs in here. I kind of want those CRTs. What is this? Just some leftover from last night's dinner. That little girl made the best rainbow jambalaya I've ever eaten. Now, I want to know if he means he ate the little girl or she actually cooked the jambalaya. I'm confused by this. Uh, I'm looking at your CRT TVs. Why do you have two of them? Man, you're hardcore. I want your pizza. Or is it just leftover? It's just boxes. Why do you have pizza boxes? I know why. Because he likes to play Pizza Box Bond on the N64. Where you take, you cut up the pizza boxes and you tape them to the screen. And you make quadrants. And then you have four people sit around and they can't see into the other, where the other people are on the screen. So they can't like camp out and shoot them and stuff. Spawn kill. Yeah. Oh, also stuff on the screen that he's saying. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm off the thing a little bit again. Okay, this is getting dumb. I'm sorry for... I tried hard, you know, but now my... I think it got brighter or something outside so you can, like, totally see this blanket thing. The game's really cool and I recommend it. I'm going to keep playing it. I'm just going to go now because this is just turned into a... Bit of a shitstorm, actually. No, that's not the right word. I don't really remember English, so... It's good that I make these videos to practice. Uh, a joke, right? So I focus on it. The blanket won't go away. So I thought I had a good, good answer, but I'm gonna need like a black blanket. That's gonna be hot. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. We we'll change the scenery here, so I thought I'd show that. And not really be done. Stupid glove. <laughs>